everybody, this is David with Cartoon Fortress. Thank you so much for finding your way over to the channel today. It's a little bittersweet. We are now past the Barnes Noble 50% off Criterion sale and moving on. I was really happy to pick up the titles that I did during the sale and it was certainly a fun time. But for now, we are shifting gears over to Eureka. I have two titles that I'd like to feature today. One of those titles comes to us from the Eureka Masters of Cinema line, and the other comes from the Eureka Classics line. So we'll go ahead and jump right into this. So the first title we have here, uh, again, this is part of the Eureka Masters of Cinema line. This is spine numbers 233 through 235. This is a three film collection and is uh, features Bella Lugosi in the adaptation of Edgar Allan Poe's Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Black Cat, and finally, The Raven. So we have three films here housed on two Blu-ray discs. And I do wanna mention that this is a Region B release. Actually, both of the releases that I'll be featuring today are Region B releases. So if you would like to play these discs and you're in the United States like I am, or elsewhere that's not Region B, I would advise getting a region free player. That's the easiest way to solve that problem. Um, but yeah, here we have three films uh, from 1932 through 1935, and they come in at a total runtime of 189 minutes. And here in a minute, when we shift to the other camera, I'll show you the extra features that are included in this set. But we have three uh, really great films here in one set uh, featuring the great Bella Lugosi. Now the second title here, and, and, and both of these are very new releases. Um, this is part of the Eureka Classics line. This is from 1985 out of Hong Kong. This is Mr. Vampire. What drew me to this initially was just the awesome cover art. Um, it really pops. I like the blues and greens and the gradient on the titling here. I looked up the trailer on this one as I hadn't seen or heard about this film before, and it looks certifiably bonkers, which I'm looking forward to. I always like watching a, a good, crazy, fun type movie. This seems like it would be in the same vein as something like Big Trouble in Little China or uh, Zoo Warriors from the Magic Mountain, which of course inspired uh, John Carpenter's uh, film Big Trouble in Little China um, it seems like kind of in that vein so I'm really excited to uh, watch this one really soon and uh, this one also um, features a, a decent amount of, of extra features so we'll go ahead and, and uh, jump into this and the other set and uh, so we can see what's on the inside if these are titles that you'd like to pick up. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Okay, so here are our two titles. We'll go ahead and get these unboxed. We'll start first here with the Bella Lugosi, uh, we'll call this a trilogy of films, or um, I guess it's not a trilogy necessarily, but these three film adaptations of Edgar Allan Poe's work. We have uh, Murders in the Rue Morgue, The Black Cat, and The Raven. All three are Universal Pictures. Of course, Bela Lugosi is probably most well known for his portrayal of uh, Dracula in the uh, Universal monster film. Uh, the slipcovers included uh, with these sets, they are a limited run. I believe they typically have them limited to, I want to say, two or three thousand copies. Um, so they're not as limited as some other sets uh, that I'm used to buying, but still they're limited enough that if it's something that you're interested in, it's better to pull the trigger on that purchase sooner rather than later. So let's go ahead and actually just jump right to the back here. If you'd like, you can go ahead and pause now and read up on the introduction to the set. And then moving down here, 
There's a list of the special features included. So this is a special two disc Blu-ray edition. And as you can see, quite a few uh, supplements to get into here. So I'm very excited about that. And then going to the side, here's our spine, which lists the three films included, as well as our spine number here, 233 to 235. Nothing on the other side. And then of course, again, our cover. On the inside here, we get some different artwork. Very interesting looking artwork here. And then actually different artwork on the back here as well. So this gives some uh, cast information on each of the three films. All right, so opening this up here. So we do get an included uh, booklet here, which is great. Uh, we'll actually go through that here in a minute. And then on the back here, we have some artwork for the films here. We have The Raven. And then let's take a look at the discs here. All right, so there's the artwork on the first disc. So this has Murders in the Rue Morgue. So just the single film on that disc. And the second disc here houses the Black Cat and the Raven. We have the artwork behind there for the Black Cat. The Raven there, and then Murders in the Rue Morgue there on the front. And then we get this included booklet, which is really nice. There we have Bella Lugosi on the front, back there. And let's take a quick peek through this. So we have cast and crew information on all three films. We have an essay here by Alexandra Hiller Nicholas from 2020, Bella Lugosi and the Mask of the Mad Doctor. So a lot of great texts and pictures here, a lot to read up on, which is really great. And here we have a, another essay by John Towson from 2020 full of fiendish and diabolical doings, making and censoring The Black Cat, 1934, and The Raven, 1935. So that'll certainly be an interesting read. Some very interesting photographs. Um, so here we have rearranging murders in the Rue Morgue. Um, it looks like this is uh, an excerpt maybe here from uh, in his 1990 book Karloff and Lugosi, the story of a haunting collaboration. So that might be a little excerpt from that book. Looks like they have some scanned pages from the book is what that looks like. Some more writing here. Ooh, kind of a creepy image there. All right, and then some viewing notes, which they regularly include, which I think is really great. And then uh, Blu-ray credits information in the back. All right, so that is the three film collection featuring Bella Lugosi. Now let's jump to our second film here. Uh, again, this is Mr. Vampire from 1985. And yeah, the again, the trailer on this one, I'm going to grab my trusty pocket knife here. The trailer on this one just looked like uh, looks like this movie is just gonna be an absolute blast like I said I'm always up for a fun time sometimes it's just fun to 
put in a good popcorn movie, something to make you laugh, and this definitely looks like it's going to be a good time. All right, get the shrink wrap off of there. Okay, so again, here is the cover art, a little closer view on that. You can see just a really fun cover here. There's the spine. Let's jump to the back here. Give you the opportunity to read up on Mr. Vampire. And then moving down here, we have the special Blu-ray edition uh, supplements that are included here. And again, the slip cover on this, or the O card as they call it, is limited edition. All right, so on this one we do get some, it uh, looks like reversible cover art. Um, first, let's pull out the booklet here. We'll set that aside for the time being. And there's a look at the disc art, some fun looking disc art here with a little cartoon of Mr. Vampire. Here is the reversible cover art, which since we get the other cover art on the, it's the same cover art as on the main uh, slip cover, I do like to switch these around to the reversible art so that you get um, so you get the best of both worlds. Go ahead and snap that back in. So there's the spine on the reversible art at the back. And then here's the fun cover art here. All right, and then let's take a quick look at, whoops, move this out of the way actually. Uh, take a look at this booklet. So. There's the cover on the booklet, and then the back. All right, some essays and some fun pictures here. Hopping Mad, The Cross-Cultural Currents of Mr. Vampire by James Oliver from 2020. Here we have some interesting, uh, these might be like newspaper ads. Well, yeah, here it says just a Mr. Vampire Japanese advertisement. And then uh, viewing notes and production credits. And so yeah, just a nice little 27 page booklet. There again is the back of that booklet. So that is Mr. Vampire. So nice little package here for that film. So Mr. Vampire from 1985. And then here is the Bela Lugosi a uh, three film Edgar Allan Poe adaptation collection here. Two uh, really stellar looking releases. I can't wait to watch all four films included here and plan to do so very shortly. All right, everybody, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to come watch this video. I hope you found these releases from uh, Eureka as something exciting, something to look forward to. If you're new to Eureka, they do a really great job with their releases. They have a nice wide range in their library and they are a label that I definitely recommend. Um, if you live in the States or outside of uh, the UK, just obviously be mindful of shipping times. Most of the time I get uh, titles out of the UK pretty quickly. Eureka seems to be a little bit on the slower side, so just definitely be patient if you do order titles from them, but I, I think they're certainly worth uh, your time and money 
um, to having your collection. So very excited to get into these two releases and see what they have to offer. And uh, they've got some more great titles coming down the line, so definitely look forward to more coverage of Eureka releases on this channel. Now, if that's something that interests you, um, if you like talking about movies in general, um, I think this would be a great channel for you uh, to subscribe to. So if you're interested, definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and also be sure to hit the bell icon so that you're notified when I do upload new content in the future. And until next time, this is David signing off with Cartoon Fortress, and I hope you have an awesome movie-filled day. Thank you.